And for sure, I can say that Filipino guys are more understanding. <laughs> Hello, guys! Finally came moment when I'm starting to search from Filipina dishes that dish that put in me in my childhood and I found in my childhood was a porridge was like rice with sugar and milk and it was very nice and I very like it it's my favorite porridge until these days and my mom was cooked it but after I grew up she stopped to do this and I'm like an adult, stop to do this too. Now we was talking about mom, was remembering my childhood. And uh, I remembered about that porridge. And guys, you are Philippines. Can't be like this, that you don't have a sweet rice. I was sure that you have all kind of rice. That's why I'm starting to search as always. And I found something, Shapurado. It's even more exciting for me, more interesting, because that porridge was without cacao, this one with a bit of milk and with cacao. I think it must be very nice because I like chocolate, I like sugar, I like milk and I like rice. Totally Filipina girl. <sighs> How you understand, dish of this day, of this vlog, will be chaporado. Go to the kitchen to cook. Sorry. For today we need rice, cacao or chocolate powder, sugar, and a bit of milk. I don't need all the butter, bottle if what. Magic. No? Okay. I was thinking magic will happen and no need to cook. But okay, we'll go to cook. I don't know how you are, but I hate very long, slowly recipes. That's why I will try to make all quickly and clear. Of course, we put on our fire. Water. And waiting until it will boil. We use that with rice, we always do it something. Washing it 1300 times and only after we cooking it. This time everything will be much easier. We don't need to wash anything. With cacao another story. We need to put cacao in hot water to mix everything very nice. While I was talking so much, our water boiled. And ready for putting rice in here. And close it until it will be ready. In water. Last step is our chocolate. It now is going to rice. Okay, no heart. 
Mars, do you want? I so like sweet rice mm. and I knew that this rice you that this rice you call um, chocolate rice chocolate porridge mm. no. my sweet candy I was waiting for you all my day. Mm, I was waiting for you all my day. Mm. This porridge suits most of all with conversations about love, relations, and the Filipino traditions. Go! Together in Torres Farm with Ilvitka and Eugene! Very nice. Huh? I'm so glad to rush. So today is a truthful moment. We're all gonna just relax, chica chica, about our relationship, about uh, everything that we experience as an international company. <laughs> 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 Guys, one interesting moment from my life. I was in far, far, far my 14 years old. We'll eat for this. I was 14 years old and I met my first boyfriend, first love. It was so love in the air i met him i was 14 years old he was three years old older than me of course i didn't tell anything for my dad and mom 14 years old guys of course i was afraid and i didn't tell anything but after in one year or maybe nine months was nine months before new year mom saw in my brother's phone, in Telegram, we had a dialogue with my brother, secret dialogue, uh, where, she wrote, where she read how I, with my brother, was talking about my boyfriend, with whom I will, like, with whom you will celebrate New Year, I said with my boyfriend, and mom saw this listing, and after she came to me, I was in university, she came to me and asked me, Katya, how are you? What is your plans on New Year? I said, oh, mom, I will walk with Sasha. Sasha, it was my friend. And she said, 
Mm, Sasha, maybe Pasha, and Pasha was my boyfriend. And um, she didn't punish me. She laughed from this. But I asked her, Mom, Mom, sorry, from where did you know? <laughs> and she was laughing, but after she told me, because she saw this list when Nick was sleeping, and just put his phone on. And mom wanted to put off phone, but was listening with me. And how not to read? How not to read listing between her son and daughter? Of course, no way. She read, she was love. Uh, we didn't say anything for my dad. She said, it will be for you. If you want, you can say for your dad. Of course, I told dad a bit later, before New Year too. And that was very serious. That was, uh, I can't say that wasn't agree, but, but I feel that he very worried about me, but he didn't say anything. He just say, you love him? I said, yes. And he said, okay, just uh, be careful. And if what, we are near you. I said, thank you. And, uh, you know, this is very wonderful when parents not uh, not uh, not making like uh, not allowing to be together when you really love because I think that if my parents would say no in that moment we would lose our trust between us let's look and then she was like oh, silently and I gave her time to be and then again and she allowed me but of course now I understand that she put my cat in it. She didn't want to. It's so scary. I'm just 16 and going yeah. to other countries. I was 14. Next time. Wow. And she's 16. Actually, for me, like, kind of, kind of, kind of the same. Like, when I told my parents, okay, mom, dad, they knew who they did here because he calls every day, so they knew already about his boys, everything. But maybe they didn't know, like, if it's really serious because they think, okay, we don't know this, then come to About serious. My parents asked me at the same moment, you love him, you have serious uh, intents for him, or how to say you understand, and do you see family with him? I said, yes, yes, yes. And uh, after that, they said, okay, be careful. Maybe at that moment, if I would <laughs> 14 years old, and they would say, Mom, I don't know, I met a rabbit man, they would say, Kati. <laughs> Just Kati. <laughs> really, I don't know the reaction of my dad or my mom, if I would say them that they have foreign men in that age that they meet first my boyfriend. But in this age, how I am now, uh, they would say, okay, it's your life and uh, just be happy. They don't care about nationality when I'm adult. Maybe when I was 14, of course, they would say maybe no. Or show me this guy to talk to him, of course. What is that? So they'd be like, no, 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 no. So I was like, okay, if you don't want to pay, so I need to find my own name, how to, how to find a ticket and everything. So they, they have nothing to say because I'm already an adult. I was like, yeah, like 22 already. So I work. I work until I get my money. I work into now. And my first work was. And my first work was in 16 years old. I get my money and then I told them, okay, I have my money, I have my ticket. <laughs> so they have like nothing to say about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to say no because they think it's, you know, it's my future, it's my choice. And it's very right. Yeah. That's why it's really loud. I say they might go, uh, I'm not going to say, 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 I 
But I think even if I would not work, my parents uh, would not be so involved in this, like, no, we're not allowed to you. My parents very loyal with this, very... <laughs> my relations with the parents of my boyfriend was from the first moment ex-boyfriend first ex-boyfriend and was like mm, they very liked me boyfriend from Romania and uh, I feel I feel only personality you know uh, difference but I can't say that there is a difference between culture maybe because both of countries Ukraine and Romania is uh, is orthodox I don't know maybe if I would have a boyfriend from um, Italy or another Catholic uh, countries, I would feel the difference. Because when I was in Italy, I feel that uh, it Italian man acts in another way. But here, here I can't say because there are the same priorities, so no difference. So I didn't have the good experience. Like if I had a very nice, long, long time boyfriend in Russia, maybe I can compare, but I didn't have a long, long time boyfriend in Russia, so I don't have anyone to come to compare with that. I would say Rush, Russian guys are a little bit more straightforward and more harsh. Uh, I don't know about Russian guys. I even don't want to know anything about Russian guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, but the difference between Ukrainian and Romanian there is. First of all, because Romania it's uh, yes it's Orthodox country, but it's European country. And in Europe, uh, you know, another attitude for women a bit. Like uh, in Ukraine, there are a lot of men with Soviet Union, from, from Soviet Union education. And uh, for example, Europeans look a bit another way on women. Are more more okay? Yes, uh, Romanian. I can't say only my Romanian boyfriend that I have now uh, have uh, more gentle, more softer. Because in Ukraine there are a lot of men, guys like this. And I think it's not a bit right to compare in this situation. And I 
can't say that in Romania guys more softer or more gentle because I didn't met so many men in here in Romania. I met only this my boyfriend and in Ukraine I had only one boyfriend. So I don't want to compare between them. Yes, the same. I can't say for all Ukrainians that they're not soft or no, not gentle or not sensitive. The same as I can't maybe say um, that every Romanian guy is very sensitive or very rude or you understand. My is nice and it's the most important. <laughs> from first view because this is happening with me here in Romania and yes of course I believe of course okay Pachika Filipino guys Bakit ang maganda combination because I think Russian girls in general are more romantic than Russian guys to be loved they want to be uh, like really coward mm -hmm. I don't want to talk Yes, because um, in Ukrainian I feel that a woman more more going to develop, develop, develop in their inside uh, in their inside world. How to say right? My bad English. Uh, more more going to develop in here more than ukrainian guys because um, again not every man but most of all who i met my friends my first love my dad even my brothers uh, they're more like uh, like to make main uh, things like to earn money they're more like to earn money to i don't know to take care about their family but them not uh, feel that woman need uh, to feel love them not love with words with words and uh, touches with uh, showing their feelings them more closing with this in romania i feel that romanian a boyfriend that Romanian more open than this. Like, 
like uh, like a lot of problems para jackpot ka dito ganyan ganyan hindi naman totoo yan because we as a uh, kahit foreigners kami jackpot din kami sa kanila but it doesn't really mean uh, pwede kayo dinadaman dinadaman because because of like Filipino kind of thinking like Filipino hindi kayo pwede mag-asawa sa foreigner like parang Now, in our country, now I think uh, not when on not only when started war, uh, maybe for some families, parents, it wasn't normal to marry for foreigners with to marry with foreigners. But in my family, I didn't hear anything about this, and uh, maybe I didn't hear the same from another families because i didn't think about this because um, my friends thinking that foreigners the same people so i didn't meet families who really thinking that to marry with foreigners it's let's see it's just a relationship Relationship between girl and boy, not foreigner. Yes. Okay, so... Yes. So, 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 a lot of Ukrainians are very jealous, very impulse. But uh, yes, my friends, most of all friends who are couples, was very jealous from both sides. But um, if to talk about me, mm -mm. no, I'm not. Mm -mm. Maybe I was jealous in my 14, 15, 16 years, maybe 17. But after I, when I'm starting to work with my, but after when I'm starting to work with myself, like why I'm jealous? Because I'm not sure in myself, and I'm starting to work with the, with this. And after all went, and I understood that trust is the most important. And if person who is you in couple, your boyfriend, girlfriend, given chance you to be jealous like uh, not right attitude bad attitude then uh, you just need to talk with your person what are you doing why are you acting like this and i think everything everything going because people can't talk honest with each other and i didn't have problem with jealousy my now boyfriend I don't feel he's jealous. My ex was very jealous. <laughs> Let's look. What? I don't know why I just I don't know. You are not feeling jealous. She is just maybe very young. No, I don't know, but in my heart it stays. Oh, Yes, about trust. It's very important. If I don't, if I don't 
I think it's healthy relations. Yes! What I said, yes. saying that soon will be holiday, it's important for me, you know, and that's all. Girl secret. This is what your husband or boyfriend should do. But then in reality, like, the cultural difference is so big, you know, like, once you get to understand that it's not just a language, it's also holidays. I guess, like, like for example, here, I don't know holidays here. So, and then he would tell her, oh, well, uh, Saints Day, we go to the cemetery. have a lot of people with open hearts yes last time i can say we're materialistic uh, country yes we're starting to 
pursuit for our goals or starting to feel that we can do it but uh, materialistic world not uh, first not going first and only after our souls our hearts no first souls hearts uh, and only after our goals and i know not so much people in ukraine who already yes there are but uh, most of all ukrainians will never go on heads like to jump through somebody to reach his goal no and i'm proud of my country because of this ukraine <laughs> them are very kind very very i even don't know how to say kind it's not even the world what can describe them them so um, so easy so simple so so not difficult in talking in their minds really there are a lot of things that i can personality to learn from them from you i have a friend he is filipino and you know <laughs> i have really a lot of moods maybe because of my age a mood that's always changing to bad for sadness for good when i'm jumping from happiness and all this, my moods, he understands and he not saying, oh my god, how many times you can be like this? He just understanding why my mood will become normal. So yes, Filipina guys, you are incredible, wonderful. <laughs> be like this and thank you. That's, that's, thank you for your always spread love for everyone. And kiss. <laughs>